wow i just had to do this video this why does it have to be in the a atlanta what's up why and i don't why i have to here we go we're, we're gonna keep it balanced so before i show the video i'm just gonna say one jingle you know how we do beware the angry waitress don't complain about them eggs beware the angry waitress don't complain about them eggs she'll come for you shut your mouth up boo go upside your head you better eat them eggs beware the angry waitress don't complain about those eggs yo <laughs> okay it isn't funny i'm sorry but what is funny it was something he said let me just show the clip you'll understand the jingle you can't make this up atlanta sisters in the a we cannot be doing this okay this man on the screen he did not deserve this and i'm assuming it's a sister so let's check it i didn't watch it through because i was like i was kind of laughing but the man on the screen sir i apologize this you had to experience this check it out fair use tonight some frightening moments for a customer after he says that a waitress at a waffle house pointed a gun at his head after a dispute over food atlanta police confirm that they're investigating the early wednesday morning incident News Head reporter Eric Perry talked with that customer about the chaotic ordeal. <laughs> this customer tells me it happened at this Waffle House in downtown Atlanta, all starting over cheese eggs. He tells me the incident has left him <clears throat> scramble. She would like to blow my brains out. Candy Franklin says an argument with the waitress over food sizzled out of control early Wednesday morning. That's not, I don't have no cheese eggs. They got my cheese eggs wrong. First, they didn't bring them to me. Then they brought me some normal eggs. That's why I had cheese on. You know, I took that and everything. And um, it all was just a normal dispute over food. I would never in a million years think that it would come to gun violence. Franklin says it happened at the Marietta Street location oh, in downtown Atlanta. He says a simple situation cracked out of control. I said, I'm looking down at my food, trying to make sure it's right. And um, I see people just running, you know. So that's when I look up. And she had the gun at me like this. Oh my God. Then I was like, You tripping. You ain't finna do nothing. And she caught it back. So I'm like, Well, maybe she is finna do something. Now <laughs> <laughs> telling me to turn the Rambo and try to get on the fire today. Atlanta police confirmed they are investigating the incident. <sighs> I was fearing for my life. Like I said, I had been shot before. And I just lost a brother to gun violence. So all that went through my mind. A representative from Waffle House told me they have received a customer complaint and have launched an investigation. Who no more Waffle House for me at all. As tensions boil, Franklin is glad things weren't worse. They must got some good eggs and cheese now, you know. <laughs> yeah, never that serious, never. And I asked Mr. Franklin, what does he want to come from this situation? He says he doesn't want to see anyone behind bars, but he does want this waitress to be held accountable for her actions and punished. Of course, we'll keep you updated on the outcomes. Daquanda, it better not be you, girl, embarrassing us. Oh, my gosh. Can y'all believe it? Now, I had to laugh when he said he was looking down. And I'm sorry, for, you know, not what happened is inexcusable. It's just, come on. But when he said, this sounds like something should be on like a, a comedy. He's looking down. Everybody's like getting out. And he's looking at his head. And he's like, he looked at him. He's like, she's not going to do nothing. He's like, oh, she. <laughs> What did he, I mean, look, what did he say? I guess she cocked it. No. Gun violence. Franklin says it happened at the Marietta Street location in downtown Atlanta. He says a simple situation cracked out of control. I said, I'm looking down at my food, trying to make sure it's right. And um, I see people just running, you know. So that's when I look up and she had the gun at me like this. Then I was like, you tripping, you ain't finna do nothing. And she cocked it back. So I'm like, well, maybe she is going to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That kind of made me laugh. At the Waffle House, you pulled a gun. So that is, I'm like, so when she was serving that food, 
You're serving the food. Where was the? I guess you got the gun in a little apron pocket. Girl, you're not acting as security. Uh, this over some cheese eggs. Destina. You know you need that job. And I'm not knocking it. But you're working there for a reason. It's not your business. You're not being harassed or being attacked. Why the heck would she pull a gun over some cheese eggs? It doesn't make any sense. And then I'm thinking, I haven't been in a Waffle House in my gosh, like forever. But uh, all restaurants have a camera. So my guess is the corporate office is going to go ahead and pull that camera in real quick. I'm just waiting to see. I mean, in a Waffle House, you know, those aren't very large establishments. Man, somebody probably has to have it on their cell phone. But the idea, all because he said, I guess the eggs were missing some cheese, you're going to go and do this. Not that the man punched her out, threw a drink in her face, and started yelling. I guess she's going to show she's about that life. And you might be about that felony, and you might be about that unemployment with no benefits because they can deny you if they fire you because of this. And you might be about it that homeless shelter because most of the dust things that can't depend on their man. Let's be real. Come on. This is what we're doing. And when I say we, I mean a certain segment of our society. Just unraveling all around. A waitress pulls a gun over some cheese. All she had to do was take the play. Oh, my apologies. If it was me, it's not hard. My apologies, sir. Um, let me go ahead and get this corrected. And just take the plate back to uh, the cook, the, the chef in the back. You can, I mean, in this Waffle House, you can see everything. That's all she had to do. If your stress level is, is is that bad, you might need to have you a day off. But knowing her, might not can afford a day off. I, I get it. I understand. But you don't have to behave like this. See, these are decisions where we get involved in something, something occurs. It's how we react to them. And you go, you make it a whole lot worse. Then you come down. Then they fire you. And that piece of check that you know you need, the same if it would be me in my business, there's no way in the world. Oh, this person don't complain about this right here. We had the conversation. Let me go. Are you crazy? Let me go. We're going to have a meeting. Pull my gun out. That is crazy. That's why some people can't elevate to the next level. That's why some can. I, I tried that once before with some ladies who work at a low paying job. I said, follow these steps. And I know some people don't like to follow directions. I will never again do it. Then follow directions. <clears throat> then they started putting my name in the hat, and I get a call from someone saying, hey, someone said you referred this, and, you know, they were a different caliber. I was just trying to help them, help them up, never again. And it's like, I don't believe it. He's like, I figured you were trying to help them out, but he's like, yeah, I won't be using them. That ain't what she said. She told me. And I'm like, why would you jump the gun? You have to follow directions, or you're going to jump do what you want to do. And you just missed on a way to make some money. More than likely, I'm just going to be honest, about at least 10 times what they're making. Eight on a lower level. That's why some people cannot propel to the next level. So emotional. Don't know how to stop in Wusaw. The decisions that we make, the actions that we do today affect us tomorrow. Some people are sitting pretty right now. The investments that they made last year or years before, what they did yesterday. It's why they're comfortable today. Some people do well right now because of the support system that they had to pursue their dream. Someone supported them, had a support system, and they're there now. Some people are not doing great because they had a dream, just needed a little support, and couldn't get that. And they're not doing well because they didn't have that support system. That's a different video. But I have to share this with you. I mean, really? Over some eggs. This sounds like a skit. Again. Beware the angry waitress. Don't complain about them eggs. 
Beware of the angry waitress. Don't complain about them eggs. <laughs> Listen, people, thanks for watching. I look forward to your comments. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share. I'm out. Stay safe. Yo, you at the Waffle House. If they're not making it right, we don't want it to be a good night. Uh-uh. We don't need no night nights around here. <laughs> okay? Maybe sometimes, you know, try to assess the situation. Is this waitress really stressed out right now? Is that a good time to complain? Or maybe I should just, you know, accept this meal as it is and avoid the drama. I'm just keeping it real. Anyway, I'm out. Feel free to comment, uh, like, subscribe, and share. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say. I have never in my life heard of anything like this. The waitress pulls a gun over some missing cheese in the eggs. Man, I, I, I'm just glad he didn't boss up. She might have scrambled this guy. Get it?